what was your reaction to when you first saw this video? Uh, I feel like my first reaction to everything was, I mean, it was raw. Uh, I mean, you watching a man get killed, you know what I'm saying, on um, live, in a sense. Jalen Holmes' reaction to the video of George Floyd was like many of ours. However, here's where Jalen's different. The former Buckeye plays for the Minnesota Vikings, and although he's never had an encounter with Minnesota police, he still feels the disconnect. I really never ran into the police in Minnesota, but just dealing with, just knowing different people out there and meeting new people from my two years being out there, uh, I've heard, you know, things about their law enforcement and just saying how it's kind of really a disconnect with the police force out there, especially with the people in the, in the city. And that disconnect is something that he hopes his one-year-old son never has to experience. I, I mean, I haven't thought about what I was necessarily going to say. I, I hope and pray by the time he's old enough to come, like to understand what's going on, I don't have to have this conversation with him. I feel like I want to use, I want to be able to have this conversation more as a history lesson and to see where his people came from to where they are now. But uh, I mean, it has to be the same conversation my dad gave me, just knowing how to move and know what to say around police officers because it, it is, for me growing up, every time I'm by the police, you know, you feel like you got to be on a straight and narrow because if not, it can go left. Being a Viking, I asked Jalen, how are you and the team as a whole using your platform to not just talk about change, but actually act on it? We, we have been talking about different things. Uh, the, the Vikings just announced that they was donating $5 million to uh, different uh, black, pro black organizations and things like that. So it's going to be different things that I know, especially will get put into action once we actually get back in the locker room. And uh, I know we got some big things planned, but a lot of things won't take off until we actually, in, you know, back in Minnesota. I do know uh, they hosted a, a cleanup and gave out a lot of different things uh, a week ago. So uh, guys on the team that are, that, that is in Minnesota right now, they are doing some things right now, but I know bigger things are coming.